look at what we have here. We've got an equation given to us, and it says negative 2x plus 4 equals negative 2. And what we want to do is a couple of things. We want to be able to understand what that means. And in this video, we're going to also solve it. So we've seen equations like this before, but what can we do to show it? So if we've got the negative 2x there, we've got a choice between x or a positive x, a positive 1. We've got a balloon there that says negative x on that balloon, and the one above it says negative 1. So to build this equation, um, we don't want a positive x, we want a negative x, which is this balloon x. We've got two of them, negative 2, negative 1, negative 2, okay. And on the left side, we've got positive 4, so we have to choose these positive blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, okay. Now that's not balanced anymore. But if we look at the right side, we've got a negative 2. So that's a negative 1 balloon, and that's a negative 2. And look, now it's balanced. And we could go through and solve that, couldn't we? So let's now that we've got our boxes set up, let's see if we can solve that. So we do what we normally do. We start with x. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. And add 4 is negative 2x plus 4. And that is equal to negative 2. So we go negative 2 take 4 is negative 6. Negative 6 divided by negative 2 is a positive. So it's positive 3. Let's see if that works here on the left side. If x is 3 on the left side, we would have negative 2 by 3, which is negative 6, plus 4. That comes out as negative 2. We've got negative 2 on the left, and look, we've also got negative 2 on the right, so no wonder it's balanced. Let's look at a slightly more difficult one now. Here we've got another one with terms on both sides. You can see we have negative 4x minus 1 equals negative 2x minus 5. Let's build that up. So on the left, we need to select the negative x, which is a balloon, negative 1, because it pulls up. It's, remember, it's negative because it pulls up, and anything positive pushes down. It's like a negative weight. Negative 2x, negative 3x, negative 4x. Also on the left side of the seesaw, we have negative 1. So we get the negative 1 balloon. Notice these are different balloons. That's negative x and that's negative 1. They're not like terms. That's why they're different. So we have negative 1 as a constant there. Now, there are no positive x at all in this equation. So on the right-hand side, we've got two more negative x's. Negative 1, negative 2. And we have a negative 5 constant. So we haven't selected any positives at all. 3, 4, and we should get another one, 5. Look, it's balanced. Let's solve it. But wait a minute, we normally need to start with x here in the first box, don't we? What do we do when we've got something like this? Well, it's a bit like what we might have seen previously. We need to collect like terms. And very importantly, when we're solving things like this, we need to get the x's on one side and we need to group constants on the other side. So we've got a little bit of algebra um, technical stuff to do before we can actually solve it. Once we do that, it'll be very easy to solve. So we've got negative 4x minus 1 equals negative 2x minus 5. We need to collect the like terms, so let's quickly identify what they are. We've got like terms here, so I'll just get the highlighter so we can see them. Um, get a good color that you can see. So you've noticed I've just highlighted for you the like terms. We have x terms and we have constants. And please don't be put off by the fact that they're negative. It works in a similar manner to if they're positive. Let's have a look then. How do we gain 
this simplicity so we can do it in two steps because that's what will happen all right if we look over here if you can imagine popping balloons which sounds like a bit of fun if we can pop two x balloons off the right hand side pop pop there's two x two negative x balloons i should say are popped we need to pop two negative x balloons here because you've got to do the same thing to both sides and that will remain level if you do them straight away okay let's do that with the equation if you've popped two negative balloons it's like adding two positives it's the same thing so on the left side if you have a look at the left side of the seesaw there you've got two negative x's and one negative constant left so that's what we'd have here how we do that is like we really it's the same as adding two x's popping negative two is like adding two we've done nothing to the constants on this side too we've popped two negatives so that's like adding positive two on we've done nothing to the five so the five stays as is sorry a bit of, i misjudged the width there so we've got the like terms and negative four groups of x plus two groups of x is negative two minus one on the left side which you can see if you look at the diagram negative one negative two x and then minus one there and on the other side we've got negative two plus two x now they they basically mean there's no x's there negative two of something and then you add two of something of that same thing you get nothing and look there are no x's there so it's just constants one two three four five and look we've got negative five um, is the only thing on the right so we put that in there so we've got negative let me write that more neatly negative two x minus one equals negative five that's the equation we've got to solve so let's build it up so we go to times by negative two up the top here and that becomes negative two x we've got to minus one we have negative two x minus one the result is negative five and we've got to undo the minus one for plus one negative five plus one is negative four we've got to undo the times two with the divide by two sorry neg divide by negative two to undo a times negative two i should say so that's a negative negative four divided by negative two is a positive it's positive two okay so let's test that out if x is positive two we've got negative four times two is negative eight negative eight minus one is negative nine on this side if we have two we got on the right side if we've got negative two times two is negative four negative four minus five is also negative nine 